fans for cooling uh, motors and speed controls. How do you know if they're all the same or if they're worth the money or some are better than others? Well, uh, generally in a model car or some other application, you will have a fan on the motor uh, to cool it down, uh, especially on 17.5s and 13.5s, uh, which tend to get a lot hotter. And also you might have a fan on the speed control, especially if you're running modified to keep the uh, heat uh, away from the heat sink and help it run better. Um, so which one, are they all the same? Um, well, uh, there are three different sizes basically. There's 40 mil, 30 mil and 25 mil. Now the 25 mil ones are normally for speed controls. Uh, they come with plugs normally that fit in your particular speed control but they may, might be useful for fitting in other uh, smaller vehicles 12 scale and that for trying to cool the motor as they're fairly small and as long as they've got um, two wires you can always extend the wires and you can do something like this put a wire and you can even put a plug on it um, now uh, the 30 mils is quite a large range again and some have two little mini plugs and some have proper connectors on them that you can connect to receivers or even uh, solder directly to the battery and then on the big 40 mil ones they normally come with um, receiver plugs or long wires so they're a lot easier to fit into uh, the car and solder up or plug into the receiver so I'm going to show a way to test these and find out which one's the best just using uh, a small scale that weighs up to about 500 grams, uh, not a big scale, but one that's quite small and quite accurate. Just a couple of other things. Uh, to suck or to blow, well, it's always uh, blow onto the motor. Uh, if you've ever had a fan to cool yourself down in hot weather, uh, you blow it on your face, you don't blow it the other way because the air blowing is in a stream directly all the air blasted out and the air going in comes in from all angles so there's not much of an airflow further away so it's it's blowing onto the motor should you use a shroud some people put um, shrouds over the motor you gotta be careful with that because you'll stall the motor if you the air's got to go across the motor and out if you block it in uh, you get a back pressure and you won't get much airflow and the hot air is going to stay inside. I don't like shrouds, some people do. I prefer um, no shroud and a really good fan. So, um, and one other thing, some fans are very susceptible to mounting close to the motors. Uh, this is very um, apparent with the old brush motors, which had very strong uh, magnets. Uh, and the, <laughs> if you put it too close, the magnet, the, the magnet, Hit force uh, stalled the mo the fan. It wouldn't go around. It burnt out on them brushless motors. That tends not to be true, but be careful. Sometimes if you mount it, it just in the wrong position, the fan will may not go around. So leave a, a gap, a little gap. Uh, most fan mounts end up with a gap anyway. So uh, that's just something to watch. If your fan, if you put it too close and your fan doesn't go around. Okay, how to set up your test? Uh, well, you'll need the uh, scales. The more accurate, the better. So if you get ones that weigh um, only 100 or 500 grams, they'll be more accurate than large ones. Uh, I'm going to use a voltmeter so that I can keep the voltage uh, the same on all the bat on all the tests. And I'm going to use a stabilized power supply. But in your case. Uh, you'll have a car with a 2S or a 1S battery. Now, um, most of these uh, fans come with connectors that are either connecting the receiver or the speed control. So um, you can either try and uh, plug your fan into the receiver or whatever, and uh, if the wire's long, long enough, uh, get it to the scales, as I'm going to show you. Or you might have to make up a, a connector that you can plug it into. Or um, if you've uh, got some bare wires, uh, you can use some uh, crocodile clips. Now, uh, the receivers give out, say, 6 volts. Well, I'm going to test the 
fans at 6 volts, uh, 4 volts which we represent a 1S and I'm also going to show that if you connect directly to a 2S battery which is 8 volts you get a lot more performance. Now these fans are generally rated at 5 volts operation, uh, nearly all of them, but they will run at 8 volts I very rarely burn out a fan running uh, off a 2S, uh, they give a lot more power and it's really worth doing. But in, to do that you, you'll have to make up um, your own little extension wires as shown here and uh, I've just soldered it onto the plus and the minus point on the speed control. Uh, when 1S um, everything runs either directly off the um, battery or if you've got a voltage doubler then you will get 6 volts on the fans but I'm going to test them at 4 volts, 6 volts and 8 volts as I said you can use uh, your battery but I'm going to use the stabilized power supply so that um, all the results are comparable so what I'm going to do as I show uh, you turn on the scales. Now th this is a 500 gram scale. If you get one that does a couple of kilograms, it won't be quite as accurate. So, and you can use it with or without the light. Um, I've just connected up a voltmeter to the stabilized supply to show that I can always uh, keep it at six volts. And uh, you take your first fan. Now it's going to be blowing down, so make sure it's the right way round. Uh, connected it. I've just connected it up and I'm going to turn on the, the supply, uh, wait till it stabilizes, it says 5.49 so I can adjust it up to 6, so we make sure it's always the same, 6 volts, now make sure this is on 0 before you start, then And you lower the fan down and what happens as you get closer you get more and more pressure until you get to a point where the fan starts to complain and that is the sweet spot so it's got 6.8 and then as I go down lower it goes all, it's uh, stalling now so you want the point where it just sounds right there, 6.8, it's about 10 millimeters off. Further away, it drops off, and as you go closer, it begins to stall and sounds horrible. So, 6.8 is the WTF. So, I'll just turn that off. There's on zero. So, 6.8. And uh, I write it down on the sheet here against 6 volts, 6.8. And then I'm going to uh, do it on the other voltages and, uh, and then repeat it with the other fans as well. Right, just for the uh, first fan, I'm going to show you the other two voltages and then all the others I will do. Uh, and I, I won't record them all because it's just going to take too long. So I'm now going to run this fan up at 8 volts, so I'm going to turn it on first and uh, check the voltage, 8 volts, turn this on and bring it down. About there, about say 9.4. No, 9.6. So 9.6 at 8 volts. And then I'm going to reduce it to uh, just 4 volts. Which would be about uh, what you'll be running uh, with your 1S. And uh, see what we get at 4. starts to complain when it's at 4 so I'm going to say 3.8 it, it makes a noise at uh, anything higher so 3.8 so I've written that down and you can just turn it off 
you can see, uh, hopefully on there, uh, there's quite a difference uh, in the air pressure. It goes from at 6.8 grams, for us at 6, uh, there's a big jump to 9.68 and it's uh, a lot less at 4, only 3.8. I've got the results of testing the 40 millimeter cooling pans for motors and uh, the best ones are the WTF and the Core RC. Uh, they come out almost exactly the same and especially if you run them directly on the 2S battery um, at 8 volts I tested they came out almost identical. There's a small variation at lower voltages. Uh, the weight is a small variation but the Core RC one's half the price of the WTF, so it's um, a clear winner. Uh, the performance of the others, well, the um, the Demon one did very well, but it's uh, heavy, 19 grams. Um, it's a thicker fan, uh, which means it's going to be very strong and the blades are very strong. Um, now, the ducted fan, a lot of people like the ducted fan. It's um, very... Uh, uh, useful um, blasting air in a certain direction. Um, how did it perform? Well, not quite as good as the big one. I've got a 7.68, 5.1 1, and 3.1. So it looks like it'd be pretty good actually at um, 4 volts. If you want to run it on a 1S, it's um, only slightly less than the, this one. And it's uh, probably... Uh, more useful size in a smaller car, perhaps. Uh, the Titan, it looks the same, but didn't perform the same. Uh, it's a bit down uh, on power, especially at the higher voltages. So, um, the Core RC one, for value for money, um, or unless you want the uh, ducted shape. Right, testing the 30 millimeter uh, fans, the class leader, the WTF. Um, let's just test it at, uh, say, 6 volts to start with. Sounds like it's got a lot of revs in it. About 5.3, about 8, about 7.6, pretty impressive. Let's see what it will do at uh, 4 volts. Well, 2.7, that's uh, not bad airflow uh, for a little fan. Let's just check its weight. 8.3 grams. Right, the results of the test and all the 30 millimeter uh, cooling fans. Um, I tested the 8, 6, and 4 volts. Uh, these might be useful for use with uh, 1S cells, so um, we'll see which one won that. And uh, if you're going to use it on 2S, you might as well run it on straight off the battery at 8 volts. So, looking at the results, uh, the WTF fan. Uh, at 8 volts uh, was the best result, as was the Titan. Um, now the Titan and the WTF fan seems to be exactly the same. They look the same, they come with the same connectors. Also the WTF is available from different manufacturers. Uh, bad Start under by Team C and also this one by Yokomo Racing Performer. It's definitely the same fan. And uh, at 8 volts, um, if you're going to run 2S, run it off 8 volts, and it gives the best result, Titan WTF. At uh, 4 volts, um, I've got a little bit more performance out of the Titan. It's probably uh, just uh, some variation in the fans, perhaps, or the way I was holding it. Um, anyway, the Titan's cheaper, so you might as well buy the Ch Titan if you've got the chance. The next one up was the Hobby Wing. Um, it comes with a long uh, plug for the receiver. 
it's uh, fairly cheap eight pounds um, and the result was uh, at eight volts 5.1 grams pressure which is a bit only the same as six volts on the uh, WTFs and again uh, it was less at four volts um, the other fans well um, they're all right for cooling speedos and that but I, they're not the best um, the Orca came up next at uh, 3.1 at uh, 6 volts and 1.4 only 4 volts. After that the Obsima was not very good at all. Uh, as you can see it's only 2.2 and 1. And uh, the Tekin, although you got two in a pack, neither of them were, were much good. Uh, virtually hardly any air at 4 volts. And the Team C one, unless there's something wrong with it, it comes with the three-wire connector. It says it's a seven-volt fan, but it hardly did anything. Um, hardly any point putting it in the car, really. I don't know why it's so low. Uh, does come with a mount, which is quite useful to mount another fan. Uh, some of them have these tiny little mini pins for connecting to receivers, uh, not receivers, to in plugging into the speed control. So they're a bit difficult to use on anything else you could cut and, and uh, wire them up yourself but um, if you're going to do that you might as well buy uh, a WTF fan if you're going to cool your motor or the hobby wing or well, these ones up here uh, and they come with proper connectors so they're clear winners okay testing the 25 mil fans now most of these are made for uh, speed controls uh, and have specific plugs and sizes so uh, there's not much point um, testing all of these as you would normally um, buy the one for your speed control because it have the connector but um, in some applications 12th scale and uh, other small uh, vehicles you might want to put one of these fans in so I yeah, I've tested the 25 mil fans and um, they can be useful uh, for cooling um, uh, motors in small uh, 12th cars and are they any good? Um, some of them have uh, two pin connectors, some have these mini pin connectors so you may have to cut and uh, connect your own wires if you're going to use them for cooling a motor rather than the speed control. Anyway there's a clear winner, uh, the G-Force now let's talk about 4 volts or 1S. The G-Force clearly is the winner. It's the last one I tested and it gave 1.1 grams of force. Um, doesn't seem a lot but the others only gave 0 0.7, 0 0.8 and the two hobby wing ones were almost useless at uh, 4 volts, not hardly doing anything at all. Uh, the Absima one uh, is very lightweight, only 5.9 grams. But the G-Force one, if you're going to run it on 2S, uh, 6 volts, you might as well connect it directly up to the, um, the battery and run it at 8 volts. Because then uh, the Speed Passion and the G-Force both give a pretty good performance, 3.2 pressure. And um, the G-Force one's cheaper to buy. Um, but the Speed Passion one, well, it only has a good short wire as well, so you're going to have to extend it anyway. So uh, the G-Force uh, wins, I think. Speed Passion uh, comes about second. Uh, the Hobby Wing and the Ipsima was, uh, worked, um, gave some reasonable airflow. But um, for the cost, it's the lightest weight. The Hobby Wing ones, uh, two versions. Uh, 13,000 and 14,000 RPM, Oops, uh, but they both perform pretty much identical. Now one thing I did notice with a lot of these uh, small um, fans is that they speed up. You switch them on, they're pretty slow, but as after about a minute, <laughs> 30 seconds, they start speeding up in a minute and they reach um, significantly uh, more power. So when... Uh, so I had to wait. Um, some of them speed up. Hobby wings were took ages to speed up, and the Absima took a while to speed up. 
The G-Force was pretty straight on, so it's a clear winner, I think, the G-Force and then the Speed Passion on the 25 mils. They were, they were all 10mm uh, thick, by the way. Some of the other 30mm fans were thinner.